二零二二年第三十四條啦，繼續睇呢個果實啦。今次呢個就問返啦，肉質肥厚嘅果皮嘅主要功能，咁下面邊一句呢？係描述正確？哦，咁當然啦，成條題目就係考返啦。肉質肥厚嘅果皮究竟有咩嘅作用啦？咁啊，當中啦，果皮呢有兩款嘅，一款呢就乾嘅，例如花生殼啦，個果皮乾嘅。但係啦，番茄啊、西瓜啊、橙，佢哋都係屬於肉質肥厚嘅。嚟咁啊！睇下答案做咗激破咯喎！第一個咧就話肉質肥厚嘅果皮咧，就好似一個軟箭咁樣咧，保護到個種子嘅。咁其實咧就唔一定係靠佢嘅，因為種子都有種皮噶嘛，係咪？咁所以一二三四，又或者倒翻轉啦，難道一粒花生個花生殼係保護唔到粒種子咩？咁所以啦，佢唔係一個主要功能，佢係有呢個功能，但係佢唔係主要功能嚟嘅。咁所以啦，就係、是、錯咗啦。跟住到 B 啦。就係、是、提供養分咧，俾粒種子去發芽喎。其實都係錯嘅。一個種子入面咧，其實佢自己都已經係會儲存到養分噶嘛。佢唔一定係要靠個果肉嘅。咁所以啦，當其時咧教呢一課就成日問大家啦，我要種一棵番茄出嚟，係咪一定要將成個番茄掉落去個泥土嗰樹咧？定還是掉粒種子落個泥土就已經可以發芽咧？咁當然啦，其實掉粒種子落去已經可以發芽啦，係咪？跟住去到 C 啦，就係、是、透過吸引動物去食呢個果實，從而咧就幫助到種子嘅散播。呢、这個呢，就係我哋嘅答案啦。因為啦，作為肉質肥厚嘅果皮，佢係好多汁啊，好多水分啊，就吸引呢啲動物嚟食佢嘅。但係啲核佢哋唔食㗎嘛，咪攣攣攣攣走晒佢囉。咁可以幫助到種子嘅散播，甚或乎啦，佢食咗落肚嘅。屙返出嚟嘅話呢，仲直頭可以將啲種子呢帶去遠啲嘅地方添。去到啲呢，佢就講啦，呢、這個肉質肥厚嘅果皮呢，係可以喺一個不利嘅情況底下，透過儲存嘢食，去令到啲種子係能夠生存嘅。其實都唔係嘅。因為啦，真真正正係令到佢哋生存嘅咧，係種子自己儲住嘅嘢食，就唔係個果皮嘅。即係話啦，哪怕個番茄爛曬，其實啲種子咧係仍然可以發芽嘅，除非啲種子都爛埋嘅啫。Due to question thirty four is still about the section of the fruit, and now we are checking the concept of Q fleshy fruit wall. So, which of the following statement correctly describes the major role of Q? Surely, it recalls the function of the fleshy fruit wall. So you can see that for the fruit wall, they are either dry or the fleshy one. For the fleshy one, for example, for the tomato, watermelon, the fruit wall, they are fleshy. For the uh, peanut pod and the hazelnut, the fruit wall, they are dry. So let's take a look at the question to find out the answer. Let's say. So let's take a look at the answer. Option A, it protects the seed by acting as a cushion. So the idea is that surely the fruit they can protect the seed. The fleshy fruit wall they can act as the cushion to protect the seed. So what about the hazelnut fruit wall? They are dry, or they cannot act as cushion, and then they cannot protect the seed. Not really. It's not the concept like this. Therefore, for the protection, yes, it is a function, but not the major function. Because every foot wall they can protect the seed, and then for B, provide the nutrients to the seed for germination. It's also not the concept because for the seed they store their own food in the seed. They have the cotyledon. They have the seed leaf. It's also a way to store the food. Just like that, in the lesson, I always ask you that: Do we need to put the whole tomato into the soil, or we just put the seed in the soil and then the seed can germinate? Surely, we put the seed is already enough. Then for option C, it helps seed dispersal by attracting animals to eat the fruit. That's the point. Because for the fleshy. Fruit wall because they are fleshy, they are juicy. They can attract the animal. If they do not eat the seed, so they will spill it out, and then the seed can go to somewhere. Or the animal they really eat the whole fruit, even eat the seed, so the seed will come out from the feces. The seed they can be carried far, far away from the parents. Therefore, it helps the seed dispersal. And then for the option D. It allows the seed to survive through the adverse condition by storing food. It's also not the case. It depends on the food storage in the seed itself. It means that even the tomato is rotten. It doesn't really affect the seed, unless the seed they are also rotten. 
they cannot germinate at all. 